Classified documents hold the answers to a controversial compensation deal for residential school survivors reached between the federal government and Catholic Church. Back in 2015, the church hadn't paid its compensation, so government officials took the church to court and told them to pay. But then the government mysteriously dropped the case. Well, this month, CBC News contacted more than a dozen current and former government officials to find out who made that decision and why. Some admitted they have relevant documents, but won't disclose them. Former TRC counsel Tom McMahon says that's unacceptable. There is no accountability. There is nobody willing to say, yeah, we're the ones who agreed to uh, withdraw this appeal. Uh, everybody is covering their, uh, their butts. And uh, so you have a conspiracy of silence. The current Minister of Crown Indigenous Relations is pointing the finger at officials in the former Stephen Harper government. But he says someone in that Conservative government marked the documents secret, so he can't release them. There may have been a political, um, I'm only speculating, but there may have been a political motivation for it at the time. I'm going to be working with my team over the next little while to see if we can declassify it so that people that want to see it can, can get a copy of it. McMahon said Miller should immediately release the document. He said nothing is more important than telling survivors the truth of what happened. It's just so disappointing. Uh, in some ways you go, you know what, have we not learned anything at all? Uh, did we not? learn anything from the experiences of the Indian residential schools? Have we not made an apology? Have we not promised to stop treating them this way? And here we are. The FSIN issued a statement today. Chief Bobby Cameron says he's disgusted and angry and demanded the immediate release of the documents. He said there can be no healing and no reconciliation until all the truth is known. Jason Warwick, CBC News, Saskatoon.